Hey all, welcome to another episode of videos about fixing lights. Today, we're looking at a VL3000 spot that's been marked with shutter problems. There's a few different things this could mean. Usually, it means that the light isn't dimming the way people expect, but it could also mean the strobe blades are acting up and causing terrible clacking noises when they operate. In this case, it's the dimmer. As we can see on calibration, the fixture reports a dimmer no sensor error, which means the light wasn't able to calibrate the dimmer wheel correctly. The dimmer wheel on these lights has a magnet glued to it that's read by a Hall effect sensor. Looking at the mechanism in action, we can see the glue left over, but the magnet's missing. We'll start by taking the modules out of the light. You'll want to power the fixture up and let the focus mechanism run forward to free up the gobo module. You don't necessarily need to take the gobo module out to get the color module out, but we're being thorough. Disconnect the harnesses as shown here to free the modules to move. Each module has two clamps, one on either side. Loosen the two outside captive screws, not the one in the middle. That one's a handle. Once freed, the modules will slide right out. Once you take the color module out, the head will be very unbalanced and want to swing forward. Be careful. Opening the color module is easy enough. Take out eight flathead screws and this cover pops off. Here we see the color dimmer system. There are four color wheels, cyan, yellow, magenta, and CTO, and a dimmer wheel. On this module, we can see that someone has replaced the black paint marks on each of the color wheels with aluminum tape. I don't recommend this. These calibration marks for the optical sensors should be made with high temperature paint like stove paint. Only the dimmer wheel uses a magnet for calibration. If you need to take this module apart further, the two sensor cards will need to be moved. The larger can be moved by loosening these two nuts, the smaller will need its screws taken out entirely. We need to glue a new magnet to the dimmer wheel. We can check its orientation by sticking it to the color wheel magnet. Mark the side that sticks out. This will go towards the sensor. We use a silicone RTV adhesive. Mine is kind of runnier than usual for some reason, but it cured okay. Non-magnetic tweezers can help with the positioning. All of these wheels calibrate to a zero DMX value. Fortunately, for the dimmer wheel, there will typically be a glue mark where the old magnet fell off. Get a bead on either side of the magnet to help hold it on. Clean up any drips before it sets. Reassemble the module in the reverse order and get both modules back into the light. You'll want to tighten the clamp on the same side of the head as the MCB to ensure everything's lined up correctly optically. 
Reroute the cables the way they were. The collar harness runs under the blower fan. The big thing is to make sure no cables are in the way of any rotating components. Make sure you seat the cards in the plastic slots provided for them. If these hit the metal frame, it can damage the MCB. Once you power the fixture back up, go ahead and make sure all the fans in the head are spinning. Uh-oh, looks like we have another problem. The display cuts out after calibration finishes. I've never seen this before. Let's go ahead and replace the display module. This light has been upgraded with the DC lamp fan. This kit gives you stickers to put on the lamp fan wires so no one connects them to the AC side of the power supply. There's one screw on the back side of the power supply that needs to be completely removed, and two screws on the left side that can just be loosened. Then the power supply will slide to the right. We'll tighten up these terminal connections later. Set the power supply aside and remove the two screws on this bracket to free up the display module. Reverse to install the new module and set up a camera to watch your calibration sequence. Everything's okay, so we've repaired this light. Thanks for watching.